Yo, what's good, everybody? It's Kodesh from KodeshBeast.com, back with another tutorial for you guys. And this time, I want to show you my top three plugins to find the key of a sample. So let's say you load in a sample you like, and you want to play some notes on top of the sample, or you maybe hear a song and you want to know what keys are being played because you kind of want to recreate a similar vibe and the only option you had back then without these plugins I want to show you was to pick up a piano and then basically play by ear until you detect the right notes that go well together with the rest of the sample. And this obviously works great, but the problem here is that it's eating up a lot of time and practice until you're good at recognizing the key of a sample like some plugins would do. So to save your time, I've picked the top three plugins to find the key of a song or a sample. So the first plugin is a effect plugin. It's called Hornet Song Key, and this is what it looks like. At the top, you can see it tells us the current chord, and at the bottom, it shows us the key of the song or an estimation. So this is the important part. This is the part where we have to look at to find the key of our sample. So let's play the sample and see how it works. Okay guys, so as you've seen, it first showed us an F minor and then as it got more and more notes or informations from the sample, it finally detected the C minor. So that's why it's important with this plugin to play the entire section of the sample you want. And I tried it out with a lot of other samples and it always did a great job. It's a great plugin for only, I think, 11 bucks. But the only problem is, and this is like a real luxury problem, um, compared to the next plugin, it's a little bit slow because you have to play the entire sample for it to detect the key. So let's have a look at the next plugin. And this time it's not an effect plugin, but it's an instrument plugin. So let's load it up. It's called Serato Sample. Okay, so this is what, it's lo what it looks like and it tells us load file or drag and drop file on the screen. Okay, so let's do this. Let's drag and drop a file on the screen and let's pick this one. And boom, there you have it. At the top, it's giving us the key of the sample. We can play around with the sample, time stretch it. We can set our attack, release, filter it and a bunch of other cool stuff would probably take too long to explain and I don't want to turn this into a Serato sample tutorial. So as you've seen, it's very fast in detecting the key of the sample. And on top of that, you got a lot of other cool sample functions you can use. But with this one, uh, the only downside of this plugin is that compared to the first plugin, it's a bit more expensive because it's 99 bucks. So you have to decide for yourself if the fast key detection and the other sample, fu um, sample functions are worth the price. So speaking of price, um, for the next one, you don't have to pay anything. It's free and it's called Key Finder. This is what it looks like. But unfortunately, this one is not like a real plugin for your door like the ones before. This one you have to install it on your Mac or PC and run it as a um, real program. So what you can do with this plugin is you can, let's say you want to detect the key of this sample. All you have to do is just drag it in, click on the sample and then click on run batch analysis. And now it's running and detecting the key. 
Okay, and then you scroll to the right and under detected key, you should find the detected key of this sample. Now what's also dope about this plugin is that you can write the detected key onto your file name, either at the beginning or at the end of the file name. So how you can do this is by going to key finder preferences and then under the tagging section, you have to go to what to write and select keys. And under file name, you can choose if you want it either to be um, written at the beginning or at the end of the file name. So in this case, I'm going to choose prepend or at the beginning. Click save preferences. And then you just right click onto your um, sample and select write key to file. Now you can see data written to zero tags and one file names. And if you go to your browser or finder, you can see that it has now written the detected key at the beginning of the file name. So this is very useful if you got like, let's say a lot of samples and you drag them all in into the key finder and write the key onto your file name. But the only problem with this plugin is that Sometimes it, it has a little bit of troubles with detecting the key and it shows another detected key. But again, it's, I mean, it's free and you have to do a little bit of guesswork later on. But compared to the method where the guys played by ear and try to detect the key by playing the piano, it's, I think, a lot better and a lot more efficient, time-saving compared to this method. So I think these three plugins can save you up a lot of time with finding the key of a sample. And at the end of the day, you have to see for yourself if it's worth it spending like 100 bucks on a super fast Serato sample, or you can use Hornet, SongKey, or maybe this free method. So yeah, with that being said, this was my video on my top three plugins to find the key of a sample. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications to be updated whenever I post new content. So see you in the next video. Peace.